Hello everyone and welcome to this very special Easter edition of Draw with Rob. With me. Right, come on, let's find that. There it is. With me, Rob Bidolf. That is me inside the brand new Draw with Rob Amazing Animals book. Now I'm a children's author and illustrator. You might have seen some of my picture books before. Now I wanted to choose one that was vaguely Easterish, and the only one, the only one I could find that was that sort of was remotely Easterish was this one, my first Dinosaur Juniors book called Happy Hatch Day, because it's got an egg on the front. Now, granted, there is a little baby Stegosaurus hatching out of that egg, and I don't know if that's particularly. Um, in keeping with traditional Easter values. <laughs> I don't know. But I suppose, you know, Easter, the egg, the egg part of Easter is meant to represent, you know, a new start, a new birth, isn't it? So from that point of view, very, very Easterish. Uh, and this story is all about look, there's lots of there's lots of sort of egg-shaped things on the back of this, and there's even a natural dinosaur that hasn't hatched properly from his own. Yeah, just his feet have come out, Martin birth there. So you know, I think very Eastery. Well done, Rob. Well done. Uh, maybe you've seen my chapter book, Peanut Jones, which is out now in paperback. The first of the Peanut Jones trilogy. Peanut Jones and the Illustrated City. Loads and loads of drawings in this. Is there anything Easterish in this? Let me think. Let me think. I don't know if there is. I don't think there is. I don't think there's any eggs in this one. Uh, there is a uh, talking a giant talking alligator called Jonathan Higginbottom. Does that is that East? No. That's not Easter, is it? What about uh, oh, what about a really evil um, sort of manga panda? No. Okay. Uh, what about a superhero whose power is um, control over all um, types of tables? Whose name is Table Guy? No. Nope. You know what? Maybe I should give up. But anyway, <laughs> it's a fun story. Check it out if you like fun stories. But we are here today to draw a picture together, a special Easter e picture together and in the past I've done a few Easter draw alongs haven't I in the past I have done I think I did an Easter chick last year I think was that last year I did a little Easter chick hatching out of an egg and um what else have I done have I done I feel like I've done maybe I haven't done any other Easter ones I've done a rabbit I've done sort of a bunny it wasn't particularly an Easter bunny but sort of Easterish isn't it but today I thought right what what could I do that's Easterish well, I've been talking about them a lot already. Eggs. I thought I'd show you how to draw a little Easter egg character. What do you think? Is that a good plan? Everyone loves an Easter egg, don't they? So this is what we're going to need. It's a very easy one today. We're going to need a piece of paper. We're going to need a pen or a pencil, something to draw with. I think it's a good one to colour today. So if you have got any colours, uh, coloured pencils or felt tips or paints or anything like that, that would be good because today's I think has got the potential to be a lovely colourful one um, and a good one maybe to stick up in your window to, to, to show everybody that you're celebrating Easter. So grab yourself some colours if you've got them. This is how Draw With Rob works. Lots of people think they can't draw. I say everybody can draw. Mainly because there's no right or wrong answer with drawing, is there? It's not like maths where, you know, 7 times 6 is 42. It's not, you know, it's not 41. It's not 43. It's 42. There is a right answer and there is a wrong answers. With drawing, there is no right and wrong answer. Who's to say that my drawing of an apple is better than your drawing of an apple? Nobody. You know, that's how you see an apple. And how I draw it is how I see an apple. So there's no right or wrong answer. That's the first thing. So don't worry if your drawing doesn't look exactly like mine. It's not meant to. You put a bit of yourself into your own drawing and that's fine. Um, and uh, secondly, I think the main th reason that people think they're not very good at drawing is because they're not sure how to go about doing the drawing. So if I was to show you one of my characters, one of these sausage dogs, for example, I might show you this one here with the funny fruity headgear and you might think there's no way I can draw that it looks far too complicated but if I broke it down into little tiny shapes like an oblong here a circle there a little line here and showed you how to do it in order then pretty soon you would end up with a drawing just as good as mine so that's what I'm going to do today I'm going to break this drawing of a little easter egg character down into bite-sized pieces no pun intended and um, <laughs> uh, I'm going to draw a little shape here and there and you are going to pause the video and so I will draw you pause the video you draw I draw 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 you draw and by the end we're going to end up with a drawing that we're super proud of and it's quite an easy one today and there's a fun bit at the end where you can add your own decoration to it so should we start right the first thing we're going to do is 
We're going to start sort of roughly at the midpoint of your page uh, in terms of its kind of vertical height. And what I want you to do is from the midpoint, slightly over to the right hand side, I want you to draw a semicircle. Quite big, like this, it goes down, around, and up, like that. So like a big smiley mouth in the bottom half of your piece of paper, starting from the midway point, okay? Some people find egg drawing, drawing an egg shape quite difficult, so I think it's better to break it up into two halves. So the bottom half is like a semicircle, and the top half is like a pointed semicircle, slightly pointed semicircle, not dead pointed, because that would look more like a teardrop than an egg. But I'll show you what I mean. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna go up, slightly steeper than we did the top half, and then we're gonna turn around like that and join up again. So do you see what I mean? By breaking it down into two halves, it's a game of two halves drawing an egg. <laughs> the bottom half, sort of perfect semicircle, top half, slightly pointy semicircle. There you go. We've got a lovely egg shape. Now, it'd be good, wouldn't it, if I just finished there? <laughs> That's the end of your Draw With Rob episode. This is how you draw an Easter egg. Done. Bye-bye, see you next week. That would be funny. I wish I'd done that, that would be super funny. But I thought it would be more fun to make our character a little, uh, into, make our egg into a little character, okay? So we're gonna start by giving our Easter egg some legs. <laughs> so what I want you to do, coming out of the bottom of your egg, we're gonna draw a vertical line, like that, just a few centimeters long, right out of the middle of the bottom of your Easter egg. And then at the bottom of that line, we're gonna draw a horizontal line like that. So your vertical line hits the dead center of your horizontal line, like so. Then from this end, we're just gonna come up a little bit. We're gonna go across and then we're gonna go vertically. I don't know that. Alexa, why are you talking to me? I did not ask you a question. Did you hear that? Alexa said, hmm, I don't know that. Alexa, did I? Thanks for the feedback, she said. I'm not even talking to her. She just wants to get involved with these Sorry, videos. I'm not sure. I didn't ask. She just wants to get involved. It's unbelievable. Thanks for letting me know, so I can learn <laughs> from my mistakes. <laughs> You're, that's fine, don't mention it. She's just jealous, she's just jealous of me. I pronounce that Spain, but I'm always working on how I say things and I might not have it right. What is she? Alexa, be quiet, please. weirdest thing isn't it she just wanted to join in she's just jealous i'm talking to you she wants to get involved unbelievable right hopefully she won't interrupt me again <laughs> right where were we yes let's, let's do the other foot shall we exactly the same we start from this end we go up we go across and then we join up with our body and there we go little easter egg legs <laughs> okay the next thing i want to do we're going to give our easter egg a nice sort of bow tie Okay, so in the middle, slightly below middle, actually, I want you to draw a little circle, like that. So slightly below the center, vertically, but right in the middle, horizontally. A little circle like that. And then coming out of the circle on the right-hand side, we're gonna do a little diagonal line going upwards. Okay, sort of roughly 45 degree angle. We'll do the same going downwards at a sort of 45 degree angle, like that. And then we're gonna join them up, but we're gonna join them up in a sort of curvy shape, so like half a number eight, like that. And that's gonna be one side of our little bow tie. Let's do exactly the same on the other side. So we start with our diagonal lines, one going up, one going down, like that. And then our little sort of half a number eight, like that. And then to make it a little bit more bow tie-ish, you just add a little line there, and a little line there, and then the same on the other side. There you go. Perfect little bow tie. Let's add a little ribbon going around our egg. So we're just gonna do two horizontal lines going to that side, two horizontal lines going to that side, and then maybe we'll just carry that on through, like that. So it's like a ribbon with a little bow tie in the middle of it. Okay. Let's give our little Easter egg some arms. We're gonna do one arm coming up here. Make them roughly the same thickness as the leg, okay? So two little lines coming out like that. 
Then we're going to come up here. We're going to do a little thumb first of all. Like so. And then we'll give him four little fingers or her. One, two, three, four. And then we just join it up to the other side of the arm. And because palm is facing us, we can add just a little curvy bit in there to make it look like a little palm. Let's do the same on the other side. So remember, we start with our two lines for the arm, like that. A little thumb, then our four fingers. One, two, three, four. Join back up with the arm, and then a little thin curvy line. I don't know if you can hear that. Everyone's interrupting me today. Did you hear that? That was Ringo, sort of like doing a big sigh. He's just been out for a long walk. He's covered in mud. I haven't given him a wash yet. And he's just having a little lie down. He's got a bed. Ringo's basically got a bed in almost every room in our house, but his, one of his favorites is out here in the studio with me. He always sleeps here. So he's just come back from his walk. He's covered in mud and he's just lying down for a sleep and he just sort of went <sighs> like that. So you might hear him snoring in a minute. So keep your, <laughs> keep your ears open for Ringo. Right, let's turn our little Easter egg into a character. Let's wake him up or her we are going to draw a little circle here and we're going to do another one next to it here two little eyes for our little easter egg character in the middle of those circles two more circles this time we're going to color them in actually do you know what i'm going to do this time i'm going to add another circle there and color in around it like that can you see what that does it makes the pupil a little bit shiny like that. It's just a nice, it's a different way of drawing eyes. Then, do you know what? I'm gonna leave it there because I am gonna add a little mouth and some eyebrows, but I do this quite often. I'm gonna do my coloring first. I'm gonna color everything in first of all, um, and then I'll draw the eyes, uh, sorry, the eyebrows and the mouth over the top because I don't wanna smudge my ink. So that is the basic shape, the basic outline of our Easter egg. I told you it was a nice easy one today. This is the really fun bit though, the coloring, okay? Because I want you to go crazy. Easter eggs, are, people paint Easter eggs, don't they? It's a thing that people do. It's not, it's only relatively, the chocolate egg thing is relatively, uh, it's relatively recent than that happened. I think the first chocolate egg was made, uh, it was only made, you know, 150 odd years ago. I mean, it sounds like a long time, but if you think Easter eggs themselves have been around since like the Egyptian times and the Roman times, they've been around for centuries. So the first chocolate eggs were only about 150 years ago. It was in 1873 um, by a company called J.S. Fry and Sons. They made the first chocolate egg and then a guy called John Cadbury, you might recognize that name, Cadbury, who uh, started the Cadbury's Chocolate Company. A couple of years later, he started making chocolate eggs and their company was much bigger, so they, they made loads and loads of them and that's when the whole chocolate egg thing really took off. But before that, people just used to get regular eggs and used to paint them all different colors. Um, and that's how things, that's how, that's how the whole kind of Easter egg thing kind of started, I think, really, right back, as I said, in the Egyptian, the Roman times. And now, do you know how many chocolate Easter eggs are sold? every year in the UK alone. Listen to this, I looked it up just now. 80 million Easter eggs are sold every year. Oh my gosh, that is a lot of chocolate, isn't it? And the biggest ever one, the one, the biggest Easter egg ever made, made was 34 feet tall. That is a big Easter egg. But I probably could still eat it all in one sitting myself. <laughs> anyway, so yes, Eggs are always painted. They're always painted lots and lots of different patterns and colors, which is perfect for Draw With Rob. You know how much I love that. So I think just do whatever you like here. Your egg could be stripy, covered in stars, covered in hearts, covered in patterns. It could just be plain colors if you want. It could be in the flag of the fa your favorite country or wherever you're from. It could be anything you like. The more colorful, the more pattern, the better. That's what I say. I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I'm gonna decide as I go, but either way, I will see you back here. 20 or 30 seconds and I'll have a pretty much coloured in Easter egg character and then I'll add the final details on afterwards and show you how to do that, okay? So here we go, I'm going into super speed mode. I will see you back here soon. Three, two, one, let's go.
Okay, so there's my Easter egg character. I've done quite a lot of colouring. I've had a lot of fun doing this one. Uh, so you can see I've gone for sort of the chocolate. It's a chocolate egg. It's mainly a chocolate egg. So, you know, top half is the nice sort of rich brown chocolate colour for our chocolate Easter egg. And then I've just gone crazy with the patterns. And I like doing this sometimes. I sort of thought about it as horizontal sections of pattern. So I did my band, sort of this kind of polka dot pattern, then I've gone for zigzags and hearts and things. Maybe actually, I might just go over the edges of my hearts to bring them out a bit from that nice sort of turquoise color. And that can help, I think, just to make them a bit more defined, just like that. There we go. The little hearts. I've got some swirly bits, all sorts of different colors going on there. Now I'm gonna show you my favorite trick, which I've shown you hundreds of times before. If ever you do a character standing on the ground, just add a little bit of scribble like that around their feet, sort of either side of the feet, coming out to the sides like that. I've got my light slightly coming in from the left-hand side, which is what I usually do actually. So I'm gonna make the shadow a bit longer on that side. That's how it would work in real life. And then I'm just gonna use a slightly darker shade of that color right next to the feet, like so. And you see, it really looks like some shadow there, doesn't it? Now, do you remember I said I'm gonna add a little bit more detail here and there? So I'm just gonna go, because when I use my colored pencils, it tends to sort of um, make the blacks go a bit dull. So I'm just gonna go over the top of that, like that. My whites are a bit dirty and I've got all sorts of smudges going on, but I like that, it makes it look arty. I'm gonna add some eyelashes off to the side, just three coming out of each side like that just to give my little easter egg some eyelashes i'm going to add a little smiley mouth underneath i'm not going to give him a nose so i'll just do a little smiley mouth let's add some little smiley bits like that on the end and remember what i always say about smiling it's very it's all very well doing the smiley mouth you need that but eyebrows look i'm going to add my eyebrows right up here and look how much smileyer they make our character seem. Look at him. Isn't he a happy little Easter egg? So there we go, we're pretty much finished now. The last thing we've got to do, sign our drawing. There we go, I'm doing a full signature today. Oh, big hole with a little kiss. There we go, a finished drawing. i tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna make our character He's gonna be talking to you. He's gonna give you a little message. So I'm gonna go into super speed mode while I write this. Um, I'll see you back here in a few seconds. Here we go. And there we go. A little happy Easter message from my Easter egg character to all of you. Now listen, I really hope you've enjoyed drawing this Easter egg with me today. Um, I would like to see your drawings. I, I just know there's going to be some amazing ones this week. Um, all sorts of patterns, all sorts of colours. Remember the rules with Draw with Rob? There ain't no rules, so go crazy with your patterns. Get your grown up to take a picture of your drawing and then post it using this hashtag, Draw with Rob. That way I will get to see it. If you're watching on Facebook, you can just comment with your picture in the comments below. I will see those too. Um, and honestly, I can't wait to see your drawings. I'm super excited about this. Um, what else can I tell you? Yes, don't forget to, if you subscribe to my newsletter at this email address, then you will get a notification when a new Draw With Rob video is about to drop. I'll send that out the day before or a couple of days before. Um, and it's totally free to sign up and no spam, I promise. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel turn your notifications on, then you get told when a new video is coming. Um, and as I said earlier, hang around to the end of this video and you get to have a look inside the latest Draw With Rob book, which is called Amazing Animals. Um, until I see you next, which will be very soon, I'm gonna be back very soon with a new video. I just want to say um, thank you so much for tuning in today and drawing with me. Um, uh, I wanna wish you all a very happy and healthy Easter. I hope you have fun, have a nice break from school. Uh, don't eat too much chocolate, okay? You'll be sick, trust me, you will be sick. <laughs> make them last, that's what that's what my daughters do, they make them last and they never give me any, so they last for ages. <laughs> so don't go too crazy, but have a lovely, lovely Easter. I'm gonna be, be back very soon with a new video. Until then, keep those pencils sharpened and take care of yourselves. Bye everyone.
Hello everyone, just when you thought you got rid of me, here I am again popping up at the end of your video to annoy you. <laughs> and I'm here today to tell you all about this, the brand new Draw With Rob activity book. And it's called Amazing Animals. And that's because it's full of loads of amazing animals. It's true, it really is. We've got little ones, like this guy here. We have got, whew, some really big ones. We have got animals that live in the sea. We have got animals that spend most of their time up in the sky. And of course, there's loads and loads of really, really cute ones. <laughs> um, what's in the book, I hear you ask? Well, we have got loads and loads of really cool and quite tricky puzzles for you to do. Uh, we've got some pages where I start the drawings off and you guys get to finish them. We have got lots of really, really nice colouring pages for you to do too. And of course, it wouldn't be a Draw With Rob book without lots of exclusive, never before seen draw alongs. And I've got the frames as per usual for you to put the pictures in. And of course, all the pages are perforated. So once you've done your beautiful works of art, you can tear them out and stick them up on the wall and display them for all to see. And then when you get to the end of your book, look, We've got a really cool certificate. You put your name in there and it says, this is to certify that your name is officially an amazing animal artist. Isn't that cool? The book is out right now. You can get it right now from wherever you get your books, be it online or from your local bookshop, local bookshop, if you can, please. It was so much fun to put this book together. I really, really loved doing it. I really, really hope you love the book too. I think if you like these videos, I think you're gonna love this book, to be honest. So get yourself a copy. If you do, let me know what you think of it. Right, I better let you go. You gotta get on with your day, haven't you? I'm gonna be back very soon with another Draw With Rob video. In the meantime, everybody, keep those pencils sharpened, keep on drawing, keep on reading, and take care. Bye-bye.